All right, welcome beautiful people. Here I am, I wanted to finally make a video about the chronometer. I've been showing or using this tool for the last couple of weeks and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know what it is. Basically, it's you just tracking your calories as a, as a calorie tracking application. And I think a lot of people are not aware of it and some people think that this you actually have to pay some type of subscription, which you can pay a subscription to. But in my plan, I actually have a basic plan and I've been using this plan for the last year or so to track calories, track choline, track carbs, sugars, whatever, track anything that I felt like I wanted to see, whether or not I wanted to see if I get the adequate amount of protein, uh, if I try to avoid getting X amount of carbs or X amount of sugars. I use this diary that you have right here to track the number of food I have. And right now I'm recording this on April 17th and uh, as you see here you already have a, a large amount of information available to you as a diary and one thing you could do there's this sort I haven't looked throughout everything but there's so many things that you can do with this and it's so good because it gives you the breakdown of your daily cal caloric needs uh, not caloric needs or daily I guess uh, vitamins or mineral needs and the amount of grams of whatever vitamin or mineral that you have uh, taken, it's taken into consideration once you track your food. Now, one thing I notice is like when you add your food, like for example, I have a lot of just generic food groups. I haven't gotten anything for, from a, a name brand food. Uh, I just usually do, do like just general food like chia seeds. But again, there's like so many different chia seed brands. and. When you just track or you just add a food group that's just regularly named chia seeds, it will give a better breakdown of all the micronutrients compared to, let's say, if I go to add food and put chia seeds, there's going to be some type of name brand chia seeds, like chia, bia, whole chia seeds. And with that, you're not going to be able to see, let's, let me add it, you're not going to be able to see all the micronutrients this name brand product has that represents chia seeds compared to anything compared to uh, just a generic chia seeds name and that's the, one of the major reasons why I always try to use just regular non-branded names unless it's something that's very specific like let's say I, I bought a pizza from Pizza Hut like I think you might find Pizza Hut here because they do have a lot of um, see okay you see here they also have a lot of like popular name brand uh, products or I don't know if I should call them products, just food items. And they even give you the different types of, uh, I guess, I guess what, serving options. You can measure it in ounces, you can measure it in grams, you can measure in a large. And it's funny because it, not only do you have the ability, it's, it's a very, for different food items, they will have very unique serving options so I just randomly put Pizza Hut and it has a large medium ounces grams but if I would decide to put I don't know KFC let's put KFC KFC chicken breasts you know you see here the options of the serving size is different now I not only do I have uh, ounces and grams I have tablespoons and tablespoon cut pieces and a piece and a cup you see uh, that's but another thing reason why I actually use but I don't really eat KFC I was just gonna say that within my typical diet I generally just eat plants like basically fruits or vegetables so it's just a lot easier to track I don't really go into specifics of what type of apple it is because currently I bought some ambrosia apples I don't know if it's it should be here apple ambrosia and then again apple ambrosia for martins i don't know what that is and it's probably not going to give me and the uh, at the adequate amount of micronutrients it doesn't record those types of things to tell you just the, you know the macros so the, in terms of fat saturated fat energy fiber sugars etc so that's why i don't really track with that but you can here's another thing that's awesome you can also add your exercise i don't really do this um but let me just go to browse all. You see, you have different types of exercises that you can use, and then they tell you the different effort levels and the durations. So you see, I just click calisthenics. 
and you can change the duration and put 15 and then add that to diary you can also add your weight that you if you want to track any type of weight that you have and now my weight scale is right to the bottom left right here and this is like the calorie or the energy history as well and you can also change the options for the last two weeks or last eight four weeks oh shit i've been doing this for four weeks oh shit awesome and you can also go back in the past into months i don't know if i did see anything on march yes i do i have stuff for march another cool thing is i already showed the trends but it shows the energy consumed i graphed here and the weight so you get a bigger picture of what how your weight is dropping or gaining in weight or how much calories you consumed and the breakdown of uh, fats carbs and protein i believe fats is red carbs is blue or protein is the green and then i already showed you a nutrition report and i think the print report is only available no 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 you can do this you can print a report even on a basic plan which again i'm actually in a basic plan other things that's really awesome is creating your own recipes so i have a number of recipes that you can that i've created and I'll just click one of them, Rasta Pasta. So I found this Rasta Pasta recipe. Let me see if I can actually find it here. Rasta Pasta, Rasta Pasta, Rasta Pasta, Rasta Pasta, Rasta Pasta. Here it goes, Rasta Pasta. So I found this Rasta Pasta recipe, I don't know, somewhere through Reddit, which actually showed me, sent me a link to this uh, person's, I guess, cooking blog. And I calculated, I didn't know the all the nutrients or calories that were going to be consumed within this whole Rasta pasta. So what I did was I grabbed all the different food items that you can do. Like you can add a food item like this by just hitting your ingredients and just, you know, like I showed before, just just add something, I don't know, onions or whatever. Let's say I, I bought yellow onions and I got a small onion and it changes the all the nutrition nutritional information changes based on all the ingredients you add overall and then you can change the name of it and then save the changes or you can revert to changes as well and overall uh let's see here it says i have two point it's two thousand two hundred calories <laughs> which is crazy and it's funny that there's not really too many other things that's showing i mean because i feel like there's more information about like the vi protein and vitamin A, but apparently it isn't, which is crazy. But nonetheless, it shows all the different foods that I did eat on this particular day. And it's supposed to show you the macronutrients, but apparently, at least according to this recipe, there's very little. It just only shows you the calories consumed or just a little amount of calories. And I highly doubt it was 0 0.27 grams of carbs. But let's go into another one. Um, let's go into just... I eat a lot of oats, so I have a different variety of just oats. Uh, change, don't know. I don't want to save changes. Okay. Oh, okay. So, like, if I go to just the different oats that I have created over the course of it, I don't know how long I've been using this. Maybe a year plus. It shows, you know, the different macronutrients. So, there's the things I have. And usually all I have is, like, blueberries, flax seeds, and quick dry oats I have like this corn flake cereal serving based upon just like regular pu public the public version of corn flakes and some almond milk that's vanilla unflavored unsweetened and uh, I get some all the information there so that's also good if you just want to combine just different food items into this one recipe or uh, yeah thing and let me see if there's anything else there's probably other things that you can be you can use them for but that is pretty much all I use it for and I do think this is a, a really good application or tool to use to track any type of uh, nutritional information that you want to use in order to lose weight or track if you if you do believe that you have TML and you feel that you're trying to uh, reduce the amount of choline this is a good oh that's another thing before I go I do want to say this, the micronutrient of choline wasn't present um, when I first actually signed on and it got this account uh, running. So there was a certain setting that you had to do in order to display something. 
and it's uh, I think it's somewhere here I think it's somewhere here mm -mm 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 -mm. display profile targets account no two 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 no okay yes it's here I think I think it's here I think this is it I just can't find choline Magnes, magnesium, copper, chromium, no, hmm, nutrient targets, like the visible, no, 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 okay, this is it, this is in vitamins, so if you want to see something visible, like choline in general, because a, a number of people believe that they have TMAL, you have to click on this to make it visible, because usually it's invisible, um, so that is a great thing to do if you are trying to look for choline or any other thing. Let's say you're trying to find beta carotene. All you have to do is just click beta carotene to make a video visible. But I think I click beta cryptoxanthin. I don't even know what the hell that is. What is oh, beta cryptoxanthin is a plant source of vitamin A that gives fruits and vegetables a vibrant red color. You can make one UG vitamin A for about 20 UG of beta beta cryptoxanthin. I guess that's interesting. But yeah, man, I didn't want to go too far into this. That's all I really wanted to show. And it's probably over 10 minutes. Let me check. I don't want to check. In any case, I'll end it right here, man. You guys have a good